Week three sees our first visit to Cheltenham, I think, and it's a three mile nice chase to kick us off. Let's take a look at the field of 12, I think we've got for this one. Three mile nice chase at headquarters, Cheltenham, and uh, atop El Centro Fountain for Vinnie Gerard the Phalanx. For Joshua Sullivan, talk back Mayor, Graham Clitterbuck, Wild Rose, David Hooley, Basic, Cruzen, David Robertson, Great Sadler, Darren Thompson, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, Vanishing, Paul Parsons, Window Rock Lover, Vinnie Gerard, Fish Tech, for Leon Van Rensburg, Iris Quote for Derek Hinton, and Spherical Lady for Jim Murray. That's your field then. All called in, ready to go. Get the week three underway. And Derek Hinton's Iris Quote is going to be one of the first to show with Great Sadler. All sort there as well for Darren Thompson. But it's the pink jacketed Iris Quote who's gone off into the lead, but he's running a little bit wide there, and has gone at the first. Well, dramatic start to the race there, dramatic start to the week, as Iris Quote appeared to be trying to run out there, was running off to his right, and deposited the jockey on the deck, so that horse is now continuing riderless, and he's still running out to his right, so obviously not a Cheltenham type, that one then, oh, Derek Lane needs to, might need to make a note of that and get it going in the other direction next week. But it's back to the race and it's Wild Rose on the inside in the purple jacket that's got the lead from Basic Cruzen in second as they get over the water, which they'll all get over safely, of course. Three greys in this and two of them are coming up to dispute the lead now. Grand Clutterbuck's Talk Back Mare closest to us and Jim Murray's red sleeve spherical lady over on the far side as they take this ditch, which they're all over safely. And Vinny Gerard pair the back two at the moment. There's a long way to go yet, though. And it's just Basic Cruzen who's got into the lead as they get over number five. Darren Thompson's great saddler wasn't thought perfect at that one, but there's a leading line of about five of them now then, as they head to fence number six, and it's on the far side of the rail in the purple jacket, White Rose is just in the lead from Spherical Lady next to it. Oh, there's another four there, another one down. It's Fistech gone this time, so Fistech's gone for Leon, and that's a bit of a surprise. Wild Rose is now the clear leader from the two greys, Spherical Lady and Talkback Mare, then tucked in on the inside. The Phalanx is running a quiet little race without being noticed on the inside there for Josh. Then Basic Cruzen, the earlier leader, just dropped back into fifth. Then the third of the greys is Paul Parsons vanishing in the white jacket as they get over the seventh, where Basic Cruzen was slow and Window Rock Lover at the back made a bit of a mistake. The other one towards the rear now is Magic Word for. Craig Beckwith. And they're racing downhill now towards the next and talk back mare has got into the lead for Graham Clutterbuck. And the phalanx now being pulled off the fence. A little bit wider, two horses wide in second. And now with a batch of three greys. As Wild Rose drops back into fourth. Great Sadler is fifth in El Centro Fountain as they get over the eighth and they're all safely over the eighth, although Basic Cruzen is jumping very untidily as they get to the ninth, which they will get to the other side of OK, and that should be the last on the next circuit, I think. As the Phalanx goes into the lead for Joshua Sutherland. So the Phalanx in front then, from Spherical Lady on its inside, talk about Mayor just back in third, then wider on the track, vanishing. The third grey is fourth, but went right through that one. And has subsequently dropped back a little bit. Wild Rose now with a bit of fourth. Great Sadler after a couple of early mistakes is now on a bit of an even kill running in fifth. And on the inside rail, El Centro Fountain going well in the green. Basic Cruzen is next. And a gap of a couple of lengths back to Window Rock Lover and Magic Word, who's now the back marker as they get over number 11. And the lead is being disputed by Spherical Lady, the ground on the far side. Wild Rose in the purple jacket closest to us, and the Phalanx in the Dennis the Menace colours in between, and the leading three. Then Basic Cruzen is next, you can see the loose horse there, Iris Quote still rolling around all over the place, out to the right, into the left, and they go over this ditch, and there's a fall on there at the back as well, Vanishing's gone, so that one had made a mistake or two, and has now departed the race, Talk about Mare is another one who's totally lost its place and dropped right out the back. Well, not quite out the back, but right towards the back. And a spherical lady is now a clear leader by about a length to a Wild Rose in second. Basic Cruzen now moving back up on the outside. In comes Great Saddler, and on the 
Liverpool closest to us is Il Centro Fountain as they get over the next. The Phalanx is the one who's now dropped away as Talk Back May and Window Rock Lover try to get back into it. Magic Word has sat quietly at the back for most of the way. They're inside the and almost inside the final five furlongs and they've got four more fences to, or three more fences to get over and Spherical Lady is the leader racing down here to this tricky third last then from Wild Rose on the outside in second then talk back mary's the one who's making some good progress that was obviously being given a mid-race breather earlier on basic cruise and he's still got a firm grip on that one great saddler he's going to try and go up the inside will need a bit of a dream slit split spherical cool lady's gone for home then with two to get over uh, talk back mayor just second great saddler is third wild rose now under a Bit of pressure. Window Rock Lover is the one that's running on. Basic Cruise in is still trying to get into it. The magic word at the back is now running on a little bit, but it's got a lot to do from there. As very cool lady continues to lead by two, racing down to the second last. Over it she goes, but a better jump by Great Saddler on the inside. Great Saddler on the inside of Talk Back Mary. These three are clear over the final fence. They go, and it's Great Saddler who jumps into the lead. It's Great Saddler, but very cool lady is fighting back. They're inside the final foot on these two are pulling clear. It's Great Saddler closest to us, and very cool lady over on the far side, Great Saddler is just about a nick up, but she's fighting back very cool lady, Great Saddler's very cool lady, it's going to be close, as they race up towards the line, it's got to be on the nod, that is close and it's going to depend on the angle, I would have said Great Saddler three or four year, um, strides before the line, but the grey was beginning to get up that is close let's have a look well, it certainly isn't three and three quarter length, so goodness only knows what this race kit is playing at sometimes. That is absolutely bonkers. I hope the uh, handicapper makes notice, takes some notice of that, because they virtually dead heated. Can't take any notice of those distances over on the, on the right. It didn't take long for me to get into a ramp this week, did it? Race one, and already it's all a bit crazy. So, great saddle wins it for Darren Thompson. It's very cool, Lady Jim Murray second. Window Rock Love of Vintage Yard third. Back in fourth was Wild Rose for David Hooley and the Phalanx, who was probably quite disappointed I would have thought for Joshua Sutherland, was back in fifth. <laughs>